Begin the current daf and the septic subis daf lama hey. You begin three lines down at the top of the yamid. But the Gemara is in the middle of a discussion from the previous daf, which we're going to shortly explain exactly where are we holding. But the Gemara is going to ask on one of the opinions regarding this halacha of chiv misis shaygin that if one would still be chai, which is the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda. She is corresponding to the Kazakh and the Cheska, turning to the Bakam Shem is doing in today's daf. Some of the things discussed in today's daf are a machlekes in the case of. What does that mean? So if one transgresses the Shaykh in this, which if he had done it, the Mazid would be liable for Malkus and Tashlumen, because Malkus is only Chayyab and you have Asra. Now, the person didn't do the Mazid, they did it the Shaykh, but if you had done it, the Mazid would be Chayyab Malkus, and Machlik should be Chayyab Mishlak, it should be Chayyab Mishlak, it should be Chayyab because the Mazid at the end of the day, you're not Chayyab for, uh, for the Malkus. So you're going to be uh, liable for the monetary payment. And Mishlaka says you're going to be part of the monetary payment. You're going to be exempt from the monetary payment. The Hekish of Tanda Bechizkia, which compares Maki Behemoth to Maki Admin, the same pasta, Grand Tashlumen, just like Maki Behemoth, you're always Chayyab, so Maki Admin, you're always going to be Pater when you injure another person, when you kill him, regarding the Tashlumen. And then the Gemara has a summary of the opinions of, as we said in our Mishnais, if, if, uh, if someone's not honest, a Chiva Krisis, is Knas, but like that of Bita, it's gonna be Potter from the Knas. So our Adaf begins regarding what we said on Dafamid Bayz and Dafalam and Gimel. On Dafamid Bayz, we had a theory that we had asked regarding how to resolve our Mishnah with a Mishnah set as Marcus. The our Mishnah said that Bahiba Kris is a Khiba Malkis, this Knas. The problem was the Mishnah Satis Marcus says that you can be Chayev Malkis. We know that ain't like a Mishal, you don't get lashes and pay. So how do we resolve the contradiction? So Rabbi Yechon had said, it's going like Rabban and you read, hold in like a Mishalim, but our Mishnah is talking about that Lo history boy. There was no warning, so there's no Malkis, and therefore, since there's no Malkis, so then you could be Mishalim, you could pay. Shlokesh gave a different resolution. He said, our Mishnah says, Chibi Kriyas is a good Malkis, yes, from Kanaan, it's going like Rabbi Meir, holds like a Mishalim, so it's not a contradiction. You could be liable for lashes and to have to pay. Now, the Gemara continued and said, that this machlekes between Birch and Shlakish is based on another machlekes Birch and Shlakish. Because the Gemara said, I understand why Birch doesn't say like Shlakish, because Shlakish is like Reb Meir, and, and, and Reb Meir wanted to say like, like the Rabban, like the Das Rabban. Why didn't Reb Meir, why didn't Shlakish say Reb, like Reb Meir? Because there have machlekes regarding Chibu Malkish Shaykh and Dabar Acher. If someone transgressed the Shaykh and Issa, which have done the Mazik, would be liable for Malkish Tashlumen, the, 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 the halacha is. Everyone would agree, um, and, and in the case of what was done, the mazid, that uh, what the halach is going to be. But we have the machlikis between the two of them, is if Yechonon says you're going to be chayim, or Shlokesh says you're going to be potter. So Shlokesh couldn't say like Rabbi Yechonon that, Loi hisru boy, that Amish has told me there was no warning, so you're not going to be chayim for the malach, you're not going to be chayim for the creases, because what does that help? If it's chivi malkis shaygigin the davar acher, if you're liable for monetary payment and malkis, even if you're not getting the malkis, you did b'shayg your shlokesh hold you'd be potter anyway. So he cannot explain our mission of lahisru boy. You didn't get the warning, so then you can be chayv tashlumen because the shlokesh disagrees and he holds you're going to be potter anyway. Therefore, he couldn't say like like the like the rabban. And if he said the mission is like remeir, that's why our gemara continues on Daf Lamed Hey, three lines down at the top of the Amid, where the Gemara continues exploring this machlik is between Rabbi Yechel and Rishlaka. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav, he says, Amikul Amandam, is there such opinion where the question is on Rabbi Yechel, that holds Chivim, he says, Shaygigin, Chayavim, where the, uh, the, the this, this discussion between Rishlaka and Rabbi Yechel um, is, 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 is regarding the Chivim, Mises and Chivi Malkias, because I think Mark explained that uh, this halacha is on Chivi Mises Shaykin and Chivi Malkis Shaykin. That's where they had the Machlikis of Yerich and the Shlokish regarding both of them. If you do those two by mistake, what's the halacha going to be? Are you going to have the, the Chiv Tashlumen or not? So the Gemara is asking specifically on the Chivi Mises Shaykin, regarding if someone would have done something by Mises, he'd be Chayv Misa. If he does it by mistake, then he's not Chayv for the Misa, so what's the halacha regarding the Teshlumen? Shlakash holds, yeah, you can be potter because, he, and not mace and mashalim, even though you're not dying, but it would have been, so you're going to be, it has a tzad mace, so you're going to be potter. Shlakash holds, you're going to be chayv. I'm is there really such a thing that there's someone who holds chida mace and shaygin, you'd be chayv, which is what the Yechanan wants to say? 
Contradict this teaching of Rabbi Yechanan that Chiv Misa Shogun, since you're not ultimately getting the Chiv Misa, you're going to have to pay for the monetary payment. The Brysa says not like that. What does the Brysa say? The Brysa quotes a Pasik in the Yikra. The Pasik is, the, the Gemara doesn't quote the Pasik itself, it just says Maki Ok, other Maki Behemi, but the Pasik is Maki Behemi Yisham If someone kills an animal, he has to pay. Maki Adam Yumas, but if the someone kills a person, then the halacha is not going to pay, rather, he's going to get killed. That's what the Pasuk is telling you, not, you must. So the Pasuk is comparing the fact that you're exempt from monetary payment when you kill a person to the liability of money when you kill an animal. So what's the hackish coming to say? As follows. Ma'am, just like when you kill an animal, so then you don't differentiate. You're always going to be chayim. When you kill an animal, as the Gemara says about becoming a vavavam and beis, petzah tachas petzah, which tells you that you're chayev for monetary damages, which when you kill an animal, shaygig, mazed, oynes, rots, and so, so this is never a difference when you kill an animal. Ben shaygig, when you did, did it by mistake, ben mazed, when you did it deliberately, ben miskabim, when you did it, you had intention for this one, l'shein miskabim, if you didn't have intent for this one, but you intended for something else, ben derech yiridil, derech ali, whether you're going down, whether you're going up, l'paytre mamen, to exempt you from mom and minion, you're never going to be exempt. Ella, l'chayv and mom and rather, told you liable for the monies. Avmaki adam. So too, when you injure, when you kill a person, le'tachlik boy, you're not going to differentiate to say that he's going to be exempt from the money. Bein m'shaygik, bein m'meidu, whether they did it by mistake or whether deliberately, bein m'skam, bein m'shaygik, bein m'skam, whether he had intention for this one or did not have intention for this one, where that's a case of when you don't have a liability of death, if you did not intend for this person, whether you're going down, whether you're going up, where let's say you killed someone by picking up, by picking up his hand, or by, or, or by, by he, he stabbed him with a sword from downward going upwards, which the reason why we're saying that up and down is because we're going to go into gullahs, someone kills by mistake, there's a difference if he's on his way down or his way up, as Igmar says in Makkah, the Zion of Beis, Whoever's on his way down would have to go into Gullis. Like it says, the Yapa he has to fall downwards. But if he actually does on his way up, actually would not be Chayab and Gullis. But Al Kapanda, regarding the exemption from money, you never differentiate Lechayab and Mami. never going to say he's going to be liable for money. A Lepoitra Mami only takes exemption from money. Meaning, we're saying just like by the, by the Maki Behem, it's always Yisham Eno. So then we're saying Maki Adam is always you must, meaning you must and not Chayab for monetary payment. So if that's the case, you see that even if you're not intending, or you did a b'shoigi, the Allah is going to be that you're not going to have a monetary payment. So how could be and say that what's called chiv and misa shaygin, regarding those who, if they did it by mistake, something that had he done b'meiz, that he would be chayv misa. Rabbi Yechon saying, okay, well, my said, they were shasay, you're not chayv misa, you're not getting any death penalty, so you're going to have to pay for the monetary payment. You see the Tanmei Chizki says explicitly not like that. It's comparing Maki Adam to Maki Behema. Maki Behema is always going to be chai for monetary payment. Maki Adam is always going to be exempt, even if he did a B'shagik, where he's not getting a Chiv Misa. So how can Rebbe say that you are going to be chai for the monetary payment? So Ella, rather, the Gemara amends the teaching. He asked Rav and Amma, when Rav came along, he said that the truth is, you're right. Not like we had said this on the previous daf from Rav Dimi. That he had said that the machlekes of Rabbi Yechon Shlakesh and the Shittasam was regarding two points: it was regarding Chiv and Misa Shagin and regarding Chiv uh, Malke Shagin. No, however, Elikiyas and Rabbanami says Chiv and Misa Shagin, which is the case we just asked in the Brisa of Tan Bechizkia. If you did something, you had you been Chiv Misa, let's say killing someone, but you did it by mistake. No one's going to disagree to that you're going to be exempt from this price of Tamechiska that we just said, which compares Maki Behem to Maki Adam, that you're always going to be exempt. Ki Peligi, when do we have a Machaligi, Rabbi Yechon Shlokesh, only Bechiva Maki Shaykim Adava Achar, only regarding something that if you had done it, the Mason, you'd be Chayim Malki, now you did it by mistake, and something else, meaning that it's a monetary liability. That's where they have this Machaligi. Rabbi Yechon Amar Chayim, he says you're going to be liable. Why? Because regarding the death penalty, which is the case of Makkeh Adam, for that iskish, that was compared to Makkeh Behema. So 
So that, we're not going to differentiate, but we're always going to say you can be potter for a moment, even if you did a b'shaygig, just like you always chayv from Maka Behema. Okay, but Maka is like, yes, good. Those of which are liable for lashes, that was never compared to Maka Behema. Maka Adam talks about killing a person. Because that says you must, you don't get killed for injuring a person or doing anything else. So that was never compared. So therefore, that we would differentiate. Yeah, if you ultimately are getting the lashes, ain't no like a mishal. You're not getting the lashes unless you did a big mistake. So then you are going to have to be liable for monetary payment. So what's with your shlokish on the pot? Your shlokish says, no, you can be exempt not only by, by chiv and misa shagin, but even chiv and malka shagin. Because he says, befeidish ribs of Torah, because explicit Torah included chiv and malkas, kechiv and misa. That yes, the Torah is saying that those which are liable for lashes is just like those are liable for the death penalty. And therefore, just like for the death penalty, even if you're not getting it, what's called chiv misa shagin, you can be potter from teshlum, so to chiv and malka shagin, you also can be potter. So the Gemara says, Wait a second, Hechen Ripsa Torah. Where do we find that the Torah is including saying Chivi Malkis, or like Chivi Mises, to say that just like over there the Shaggyin are going to be part of so too by Malkis? So we have two interpretations. Oma Baya says, Asya Rasha Rasha. It says, by Chivi Mises, it says, Asher Hu Rasha Lomus, that he's wicked to die. It says, by the Chivi Malkis, Vahoyim bin Hakoisa Rasha, that if he's going to be a wicked person, we're going to have to give him Kedeh to Shasa, where I'm going to have to give him. 40 lashes. So have a show. Just like it says Rasha Bahiba Mises says Rasha Bahiba Malkis. And just like Bahiba Mises is Lechalakta Bai, because that's compared to Maki Behema. So too, Bahiba Malkis, Lechalakta Bai, because it's comparing to Bahiba Mises, which is compared to Maki Behema, that you're not going to have the, the, the monetary liability, even if you're not ultimately being prosecuted for the Bahiba Mises and so to the Bahiba Malkis. That's one interpretation. Rabbam, he says, Asi Maka Maka. He says that Malkus is also compared to Maka Behema. Not from Xer Shava of Chiva Mises. It's learned out directly from Maka Behema. So on that, only Rabbi Papa the Rabbi says, Hi Maka, where does it, where does it say Maka? Meaning it says Maka Behema Yishal Meno. It says Maka Adam Yumas. So, that we have a comparison of Chiba Mises and Chiba Malkis. The Psalms discusses on that piece is as a Hekish or like Zerah Shabbat, but it says the word Maki by both of those. But we didn't say Maki that you're saying by Chiba Malkis, that you're comparing that to Maki Behemi Shalmena to say that you're always going to be putter from Mount Tepe, just like by, by, by Behemi, you're always going to be Chai. <coughs> Elam, if you think it's the Pasik that we mentioned before, Umaki Behemi Shalmena, and if someone kills an animal, he pays for it. Umaki Admiumas and someone hits a person, he's going to die. So what are you going to say? That a maki adam, you must, is talking about hit, I mean, b'chayv for malchus? But that's, that's not true. High b'chayv said. That's talking about killing. Both killing the person and both being liable for execution. So where do you see malchus? I, I know it says maki adam, but that's not about malchus. So the high maki, no, it's, it's, a, it's the pesukim before that. It says, maki, Nefesh behemi shalmenon, that if someone kills an animal, he has to pay for it. Nefesh tachas nefesh a life for a life. But some achleim was saying near that. Says the ish ki in mumba misa. The man is going to place a blemish in his friend. Kashav also kenya also loy. Like he did, so too is done to him. Now this also loy is malchus because he put a blemish in his friend. He he hurt him. So so that's not told by getting executed. So you, you gave him a blemish, you get a blemish back, you get Malkus. Now, later on, the Gemara is going to ask, what do you mean? This is the case of Chayvah B'chaver. This talks about injuring a, a person. That halacha, we actually established this on the previous daf, that explicitly the Torah tells you is Tashlumen. Nezik Ta, Lippur Boishas, not Malkus. So how are you saying this is the source that it says Make? Because first of all, the Gemara is saying, first of all, we don't say Make over here. It doesn't actually say the word Make. That's going to be the Gemara's discussion. It says, it says, so it's saying that you should get the same thing, which is the makkah that you gave to the person. And since it says, it's, it's, a, it's essentially saying that you get a makkah. Oh, so Malkus is a makkah. It's comparing it to the makkah min nefesh ben mishamena. And, and therefore, that's how you know that we compare it also, not just for chima misa shaygin, but, but also for regarding chima malkus shaygin. It's also going to have the same alacha that you can always be exempt. Just like Chayv and Makib, uh, always going to be Chayv. But the Gemara asks, wait a second. 
But Baha'i, this Malkus, which again, it doesn't even mean Malkus, it seems like, but that's what the more is saying, that what you get blemish the person, you get a blemish back, Malkus, but love Makehi. The way Rashi explains the question is that it doesn't say Makehi in the Pasik, it just says Ki Mum. What do you tell me, Luni Alexander Shaba Maki Make? But but there's no word Maki over here. So it says the Manu Ananas Haka Kokamin. And we weren't saying the word Make. We were saying the, the, the concept of hitting. A blemish happens through a Haka. And therefore, that's what we meant when we say Maki Maki. It just means to say that the concept of hitting. It says the concept of hitting by an animal, so the concept of hitting by a person, even though it doesn't use the word hitting, it says keep mum. But just like by Maki Behema, you always get Michaev Tashlumen. So, so the Yidin Mum Ba'od Bamisai, which is Kashos Ken Yosaloi, the Malkis that you get back, is also going to be always going to be exempt from the monetary payment. It says the Gemara, the question we alluded to earlier, but how can you say this? This Pasik is Bechaybal Bechaver with this. It's when you injure a friend. Bechaybal Bechaver, when you injure a friend, for Tashlumen who? So this is a very technical daf with a lot of different drushes and, and cheshven and explaining, so, as the Gemara is going to continue right now. But the Gemara is saying, how can you explain that this pasik is the source for chivim malkios, which we said that's the machlekish between the b'yuch and the shlokish. For everyone agrees, chivim mises is going to be potter. Machlekish or shlokish and b'yuch and the regarding chivim malkios shaygin going to be potter. You're going to be chayim and That's where b'yuch and says chayim. And that's what we said that the Lashitasam regarding explaining the halacha of our Mishnah, regarding Abel and Irish, Yeshem Knaas, if they're going to get Malkis, or if they're going to get Knaas, which the Rabbana had said that, oh, <coughs> that's because the Rabbi Yechonin is saying that, like the Rabbana, that if you didn't get a straw, yeah, so then you're going to get Tashlumen, because he holds that Chim and Malkis are not part of Argami Chai, where the Rosh Hashanah told you Argami part of so, so, where is the source that you're saying? He's saying it's from Make Make. So that was what Rabbi's interpretation is. We say Make. He's saying, he said, oh, it says Make because it's Kitten Mumba Misa Kesha Osa Ken Yosa Loi. So the Gemara says, I don't say Make. That means Hakka Hakka. But the Gemara saying, but what are you talking about? It doesn't say any Hakka over here because he doesn't get lashes. He actually gets monetary liability. So how can this be the source of saying that you, 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 you I told talking about lashes, comparing it to Maki Behema, that you're always going to get, uh, that you're always going to be exempt from the monetary payment, when, to the contrary. It's, it's actually not even talking about lashes, and actually you are getting a monetary payment. So how can you say that this is the source of saying you get lashes and exempt from money? So it says the Gemara, I'll explain to you. In Eina Inyan, if this Pasuk has no relevancy, Laka Sheesh to an injury, to hitting some, to a hit that has a value of a pruta, meaning from monetary payment. Why? Because a subsequent pasik is the source of the halacha, where it says, It says, So too it shall be given to him, which is a dava hanitim miyad liyad, which is a, the source of a monetary payment, that is something which you give from hand to hand, you give a dollar, you give some money. So I already know that halacha. So what would this word, these words over here, of Kashi Asa Kenya Asalai come to be teaching me, so then you can teach this Kenya Asalai regarding an injury that doesn't have a value of Pruta. If there's no injury to the value of Pruta, then that means to say that you're getting Malchus because you can't give a monetary liability less than the Shabbat Pruta. So, therefore, this is what's called an the Inyan. If it's not teaching me regarding a monetary liability, because I already know that from a later Pasig, so what's Kesh Asa Ken Must be saying that just like you hit him, you get hit back. Oh, so it is talking about hitting. I mean, it talks about getting Malkus, because the person not allowed to hit another person, he gets lashes for that. So this Pasig is where it talks about Haka. So that's comparing it to the Haka of Makameimo, which is just like Makameimo, you're not differentiating. You're always going to be high the monetary payment. So regarding the lashes that you get for Akash in Bashava Pruta, you're always gonna be potter. Except for a Chavala, obviously there has a Shava Pruta, which then to the contrary, then you're not getting Malkus, then you're actually gonna get Tashlumen, which that we de- developed on the previous time is the exception to the rule. But we is the source from this Pasik, because it's my Hakash in Bashava Pruta. Because Akash Yesh Bashava Pruta reading up from a Pasik later on, Kenyan Asim, but 
So this person must be saying when there's no Shama Pruta, no Shama Pruta is what Kenya, Kashas Kenya also, it must be saying Malkis then. Oh, Malkis, and it's saying Haka, but the word Haka, but the concept of Haka, compared to Maka Behema, and therefore we see that we're comparing according to uh, Rish Lakish, the halacha of Chiva Malkis Shagin to that of the Chiva of, uh, of, 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 of Maka Behema, that you're not going to differentiate and you're going to be putter even by Chiva Malkis. So he's into the base, so the Gemara still finds this difficult. Again, this is very technical. But the Gemara says, Saif Saif, at the end of the day, this that you're telling me, that you're not differentiating regarding to hold the person liable for monetary payment. No, you're going to say that he's going to be putter from the monetary payment when he's giving this malchus of Akash and Bashar Pruta. What's the reason? It's because Labar Tashluminum. It's, it's really because there's, there's no monetary liability. Because it told me it's Akashim Meshav Pruta. It's not because of a, of a hackish. So essentially, what the question is, is that if there would be a Shav Pruta, then I would say that you should differentiate and that you should be liable. What are you telling me that you see Chiva Malka Shoigigin, that you're going to be part of from Tashlumin? And what's the source? Is this pasuk Kasha also Kenya also Lai, which that talks about the Hakka that's aimed by Shava Pruta? Because if it was Shava Pruta, I know it's not from a different pasuk. Okay, so it's talking about less than Shava Pruta. So that means to say you're getting Malkus. And it's Toma Hakka, and, and we have another pasuk, Makkah that also mentions Hakka. It's just like there, you're not differentiating. Oh, you're going to be Chayv and Tashlum, and here you're going to be always be Pata. Ah, oh, so you see, Kiva Malkus Shayg again. Is going to be part from Tashlumen. That's not true. That's not what you see from the Pasik. It's not a heckish to Maki Behema, and that's why you part from Tashlumen. The reason why you part from Tashlumen is because it doesn't have a Shava Pruta. But if it was Shava Pruta, maybe you would be like a Mishala. Maybe, or meaning not like a Mishala, maybe if you didn't, if you weren't Chayyab for the Malkis, because you did a Shagi, maybe you wouldn't, you would pay. He ain't paying because, this is no, it's Labra Tashlumen. So how are you learning this as a source for Chiv Malka Shagin that you're going to be part of the Shlomit? So he wants to say, Lloyd Srikha, no, it's necessary. The reason why we're having this hackish to Maki Behemoth, that we are learning out something from this, is, you're right, this case itself is not part of the but I could show you that it could be part of the <coughs> How could it be? I thought you told me the only reason you have Malka is, is because it's not, it's, it's Pacha Shavapruta. So where is the monetary payment to say that if you did it by mistake, You'd be exempt, even though you're not really There's nothing to be liable for. No, you're right. The haka it does not have shav pruta, but the bahad de machye at the same time that you hit him, kara shudo in delay. You tore his 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 garments. In other words, we're coming to tell you that yes, you're gonna get lashes for the injury because the <coughs> injury was less than shav pruta. But what we're telling you to be potter on is the tashlumen of the tearing of his garment. That's what we're saying. It doesn't make a difference if you warned him or you didn't warn him. You're never going to, meaning even when you didn't warn him, where you're not getting lashes, you're still going to be part of him tashlumen from the hekesh of leichelak the boy. So again, a little bit of a cheshman, but the, the way we know this Pasuk's talking about, it, that it's told about even lashes in the first place, is because, which the question was, what do you mean? This is Chayv B'chaveir. Chayv B'chaveir is to the country. It's Tashlumen, not Malkus. How can you put, bring me a source for a Shlokish that Chayv and Malkus Shagin are going to be potter from this Pasuk? I said, no, because another Pasuk really talks about the monetary payment. This Pasuk, Kashatuk and Yasalai, must be talking about that there is less than a Shabbat Prudah. So if it's less than a Shabbat Prudah, what's the liability? Then you're Malkus. Because you can't be, there is no monetary payment. And when you hurt someone, you have Malkis. Now let hits him. So you can be Chayv Malkis. So he said, okay, but great. So that's the Pasuk of HaKal, just comparing it to Maka Behema. And again, Maka Behema, as Tosh discusses how you know that's always Chayv, it's always Pasuk, but that's how the more saying it. So Maka Behema is always Chayv about them, and Maka Behema is always going to be Pasuk. So, so, so you're saying, when you have Chayv Malkis, you're always going to be Pasuk, what? From the monetary payment, even if lo, lo, you didn't get hasra, even if he did a b'shogi, even if he's not michai, which that's the source for a shalakish, plus chiv and makhi shogi, not gonna be part again. That's why he couldn't say like Rabbi Yechonim to explain our mission is like the Rabbanan, but lo history boy doesn't have lo history boy. You're sitting the part from the kanas if you could have had malchus. 
problem is, the Gemara asked on the top line of his Ahmed, how could this be the source that you, when you did it by mistake and not getting the Malkus, they were going to exempt you from Tashlumen because we're comparing it to Ephema, to the Mak of Hema, there's no Tashlumen. And Pachet, the Shabbat Prudah, that's the only way you were able to explain the Pachet, Toma Malkus, because there was no Tashlumen. That the injury was less than the monetary liability. So the Gemara is answering, no, we're talking about that the injury was less than that. And therefore, for the injury, you can be Chai Malkus. But at the same time, the injury, you also tore his shirt. It's that that we're saying that the Chiva Malkus Shogun, like in the Pachet from Tashlumen, when you're getting Malkus, if you did amaze it, but you're doing Veshagin, but you can be part of the material in your shirt. That's what we're saying is the halacha we're learning out from this pasta, comparing it to Makadim. Now, going back to what we said before, the Gemara uh, asks, Amalei Rebchila Rabba, Otan Bechizkia, which was what we had brought in, when we started off the daf with the Tan Bechizkia, because we had asked on the version we said from the previous daf of Maki, we were comparing Makadim to Maki Adam. Just say Makim Hema always gonna be that's Makim Adam always gonna be exempt, which the Gemara originally assumed it meant that you always gonna be exempt whether it's Chiva Mises Shaygin or Chiva Ma'am. Meaning, the Gemara asked from that, how could it be Yechon and say Chiva Mises Shaygin that you're gonna be Chayyim if you're not liable for execution at the end of the day? I turned the Chizkia, so we revised that and we said, oh, you're right. Everyone agrees to turn the Chizkia that you're gonna be Potter from the Shulmah Chiva Mises Shaygin. The Machlekes was going to be Malkis if that's the same or not. But now the Gemara goes back to that teaching of turn the Chizkia. Someone that he says, Maka Odom, Maka Behemo, that we compare just like my Maka Odom, you always chai with the Shulman. Maka Behemo, always going to be part of the Shulman. So the Gemara asks on that Ikra Halacha that we started off the discussion from, how to ask on, on Tan Bechizkia. Mimai de Bechal Ksiv, from where do you know that this Pasik is talking about during the weekday, that it was so obvious to you that Maka Behemo, which was the source of all these teachings, that to tell you, oh, when you kill the animal, when you did it by mistake, when you did it liberally, we know Adam Hud Lailam. So, so you're saying when well, he did it by mistake, literally he's always going to be hard to pay. Therefore, you're saying that the maki of them is always going to be part of him paying. How do you know someone during a weekday? And therefore, like a blue but there's no differentiation in the maki behema. Deal with Shabbos ksiv. Maybe this pasik of maki behema is on Shabbos, which as Rashi points out, then obviously, if you killed the animal, that we're saying Yishalmen, it must be you did it by mistake. If you did it deliberately, then you killed the animal, you would be Chayv Misa, and you would be Potem Tashul. No, maybe it's on Shabbos. That in the Maki Behem itself, you could differentiate between Shagi and and therefore we're only going to be Chayv if you did it by Shagi, not by Mezid. Oh, so if that's the case, so then maybe the Maki Adam is also the Ikele Fluge, then maybe that the liability of, of, of the exemption of monetary payment of the Maki Adam, that he's going to have humus and not pay, maybe that's only talking about when he did it, the Mezid. But maybe if he did it, maybe then you could differentiate. And maybe then he would be high monetary payment. How is the Tanabe Chizki teaching that you see, you're always going to be high by Maki Behemoth, and then you're always going to be part of Maki, Maki Adam? No. Maybe Maki Behemoth itself is a Chalaktaba. Maybe Maki Behemoth is on Shabbos, and you're only going to be Chayiv if you did it by mistake. Well, of course, if you did it by mistake, you'd be Chayiv Misa, and you would you'd not have to pay. And if the Maki Adam is also Chalak the boy. It's also only going to be, you must, and not pay if you did it by Mezid. If you did it by Shagiv, we not enter Chayiv Misa, maybe then you would be Chayiv for the Tashlumen. How is this source of this teaching of the Chizk, which is teaching all this teaching all along, that revised it and that we're basing everything off of that? How, how do we even know that teaching even makes sense? So, you know, Lois no, you cannot entertain to say that this Pasik of Maka Behemoth on Shabbos and that you killed the animal by mistake and that's why you pay in contrast to Bemezi. Because the third the Pasik says that Maka Behemoth shall men, oh, that if he kills an animal, he has to pay. Maka Behemoth, and if he kills the person, he's going to get killed. Say, hey, me, what is the Pasik talking about? Zigmar explains. Idiloi Astrobe, if they didn't warn him before he did this act, which there's two acts in the Pasik. Act one, act two. Act one is killing the animal, act two is killing the person. If they didn't warn him, Makod my Mayumas. Why when he kills the person is he going to die? Then you get a hasra. You don't you don't get executed without a hasra. Elam Shidra Astrobe, obviously we're talking about where he was warned. Ooh, warned is he did it amazing. Be <laughs> Shabbos, and then you trying to say the Pasik told my Makim is on Shabbos. Makim Shalmenom? What? He's going to have to pay 
if he kills the animal, what do you mean? He's Meschai ben Amshay. He's liable for his life. El brother, obviously it's Bechoyl. It's come out during the weekday. But you are not differentiating because you're always going to have to pay for killing an animal during the weekday. And that's what we're comparing Maka Adam to say that you're not going to differentiate there either, even if you're not Chayv Nisa, and that you're always going to be Potter from the monetary payment. We're essentially the most answering that no, you can't make a Chalakta boy like that because they both have to be in the same case. Because it's Maka Hemi Yishamen and Maka Adam Yumas. And therefore, it must be told that there was Asra, because that's the only we have Maka Adam Yumas, and we have Asra, so that it can't be that you can Chayv Tashlumen for the animal if you killed it on job. Now, going back from the previous stop, the Gemara really summarizes now the opinions of the Mishnah's rulings, which we had said that the Rashi said, Chiv, Akris, Chiv, Malkis, Achai, Beknas, and the Sefer, so to speak, which is the next Mishnah, Achiv, Misa, Bezna, Peturim, Beknas. So the Gemara now summarizes uh, these teachings, which going down to that teaching of, of Rabba, which how do we explain the, 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 the Machlekes? Of, um, uh, 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 of, that we had mentioned. The Omer of Papalapai says, L'Rabba the Omer, according to Rabba that he says, that according to Remeir, Chedeshu Shechidshu Torah B'Knaz, he said that there is a, a novelty that the Torah said by Knaz, that the Avagav, the Nikhtal Meshalim, that even though, and this is a question we had, we had alluded to on, on, the, on the previous stop, that even if you get executed, you have to pay. And that's how we had explained regarding Dalad Behei. We had explained that, oh, why are you going to be chayv? I is chayv misa. Meaning, we had, we had mentioned the b'raisa of of Akonu B'Tavach B'Shabbos. We had said, either it means Tavach like the Acher, so that's how you could be chayv for the Dalad Behei even though there's a tzvicha, which is a chiv misa happening on Shabbos because the shliach did it, not yourself. Or, no, he said, no, he did it by himself. I ain't mesi meshalem. No, he said, it's a chiddush, and the Torah Rabbah said that you can be mesi meshalem because the tashlumen is that of a knas. So the Gemara wonders if, if that's how Rabbah explains that opinion of a mayor. So So who are you going to say the halach of our mission is like with, to answer the contradiction that we had said, Elohim Aloikin, we had said that these are the ones that get lashes, and we know that Allah is Ain Loikin Misham, you don't get lashes and pay. So that was the question we had asked. And so the question is, is as follows Who are you going to say is going to be the Tana of our Mishnah? Because um, just to quickly review, we had, we had a few different answers how to, how to resolve the contradiction. We said, according to Ulo, he had answered, oh, we said that it says it's not difficult. That Amish is talking about a nara that there's a knas, and the Mishnah over there is talking about a begeris that that there's no knas. We had the Yechon. He answered, "Oh, contrary history, but contrary history." But we said, "Well, okay." Amish told there was no warning. No, but there was talking about that there was a warning. So they get Malkis. Contra Shlokas, she says, "No problem. It's 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 like a mayor. It's like a mishal. You get both." And the safer that says you're positive because we don't say mesa mishal beknas. So uh, the, the, since the case of bitoy is chiv misa dezen, so then you, then you're going to be positive from a knas because we don't say mesa mishal. The question that we're asking you right now is according to Rab. According to Rab, it seems difficult that he had explained that when it comes to the chiddush of knas, that then you could be mesa mishalim. That's how he had explained the brisa we quoted on the previous daf. Of Ghana for Tabak Shabbos that you could be Chai Vidal the Hay, even though you yourself slaughtered the animal on Shabbat. So you're gonna get Khib Misa. So how you can be Dal Bahai? He says, yes, a khidish, a khidish in knas, that then you could go ahead and be Mesa Mishal. The problem is then you don't have any one of the uh, Tanoic opinions to explain who is the Tanoim of uh, the Tana of Amishnaites. Because as the Gemara explains, it was like a Gemara that says, like a Mishal, like Rishlokh should answer. That was the third approach we brought from the resolutions of our of this theorem. So great, he's he all the Gemara. So you could be Elohim Alok, and it could be Elohim Arish Hashem Knas, because you can get both. The problem is Kasha Bita. The next Mishnah of Bita, if he's Ma'amdus is Bita, that's difficult because, as Rashi explains, according to Rish Lakish, makes sense because he explained the case of Gana B'Tavach B'Shabbos when you stole and you slaughtered on Shabbos B'Tavach Al De'Acher. How can you be Chayav Dal I ain't Mesh Mishalim. 
And Rosh Hashanah told us, even by Knaas, you can never pay and get, get executed. Oh, Haif Abdaba, if you're slaughtering on Shabbos, Yenem slaughtered for you. You had a Shliach do it. I, why am I Haif? I think I'm already spoke. There's a Chiv of uh, three different shots from how you could be Marba Shliach to be Haif. But he's not giving the Chiv Misa. But if you went and you slaughtered by yourself, you wouldn't pay. So it's not difficult because he holds your maid, doesn't hold Mason and Shabbos, even by Knaas. The problem is Rabba. Rabba, in the case of Vito, is difficult. Because Ma'ana says Bito is a Kenas. And Rabbi said that Bitevech Ade Atzmoy, you're still going to be Chayev, because even though you're not Mason Misham, but you could be Mason Misham regarding a Teshom of a Kenas, as a Chedesh of a Kenas. So then, but Bito is a Kenas too. So why is the Mishnah saying, if it's Ma'ana says Bito is a Kenas, why? If he's saying the time of the Mishnah is Remeir, holds Mason Misham by Kenas, you should have the Kenas even by Bito too. So it can't be like your mayor. And he came the Chunim in Akana, it was a Chunim in Akana that he holds also like a Mishal, like a mayor. As we quote on the Lam and the Medal, that he says, Yom Kippur is Keshabbos, which Chiba Kriis is the Chiba Malkis, are going to be like a Mishal. The problem is that, yes, Yom Kippur, you're going to be exempt from Tashlumen, and because of the cars that there is over there, because then we had a Gzair Shabbat of Asin Asin. But because of the Lam and the Malkis that there is over there, that actually he would not hold that your potter. He only has a special Gzeri Shabbat of Asen Asen, that it says Asen by the Chiyah B'Kris, it says Asen over there, at Anish Ya Anish, that it's only going to be if you don't have the Chiyah of Karas, or regarding a Lavin Malkus, that he wouldn't hold it, you're going to be exempt. Our Mishnah that holds Leikim Mishalim, um, that, um, a Mishnah also that holds that Leikim Mishalim, so, uh, it holds even by, even by Knas, the Gemara is, has is Kasha Chaisai. What's the difference with Chaisai? That although because, um, like Rashi says, that because of Malkus, you're not going to exempt, but you should exempt because of the Chiv of Karus. So how do you explain the case of Chaisai, that um, if, if you have the Chiv of Karus, wh- why does our Mishnah say that you're going to be chayy uh, for the knas by a chayy. It was in our mission. We had the chibah krisis and we had the chibah malkis. He said all those cases that yeshim knas. So how do you understand the the the, the chibah knas? Uh, even it, 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 because of the punishment of karish shabai, the the karish shabai he holds should should exempt you. So that's the difficult how you say like the chumna kana. It could be yitzchak. It was like a yitzchak because he says in the sefer's market that bidal and aleph that chibah krisis are not included. In, in 40 lashes. And he doesn't hold of Elohim Aleichem. He doesn't hold of that Mishnah. Abba Allah And they bring me The question is, Kasha Mamzeris. Why? Because like Rashi points out, Evan agrees that Mamzeris gets Malkis. And our Mishnah says that there's no Knas. That, that, that there is a Knas. Why is there a Knas? So the Gemara says, Hani It would make sense if Rabbah holds Kirab Yechna. That there was no warning. That you're going to pay because Chib Malkis Shaygin and Dava Acha, which is monetary payment. So then, like we said, then you're going to then you're going to be So then, so who who not be metarets law? He'll also explain that our Mishnah told us Shlai Hisra Bo Kirav Yechanan. That would make sense. How to explain for Rabbo that our Mishnah could be like Kirav Yechanan? But Eli Saba Kirish Lakish, but he also Kirish Lakish that when there's Mammon and Malkis, that even when there's no warning, you're part of a Mammon. And he disagrees with Rebbe which Rashi says for sure on Ulo, because he says that even when there's a warning, you pay money and you don't get lashes. But according to Rish Lakish, how are you going to answer it? He's not like Rebbe not like Ulo, and not like Rish Lakish. So the Gemara says, Karchach, obviously, that if he holds that by mum and Malkis, that you get Malkis and you don't pay, obviously, obviously you have to say like Rebbe that by Beshagi, you would pay money, and he would have to say that Amish is talking about Bishle Yishabu. So the Gemara says, only Ramas Labaya, who says, Lurish Lakish, Dom Befe Yishabu said, Tayyar, Punch Lakish, that says explicitly, Tayyar includes Chiba Malkis, Kichiba Mises, as we established in Amin Aleph, that Chiba Malkis, Shoygigin, not only Chiba Mises, Shoygigin, but also Chiba Malkis, Shoygigin, are going to be part of paying. Man Tan, the Polish letter of the Chudmin Akana. Who is the Tan that disagrees with the Chudmin Akana and holds that he Michaid and Tashlumen? By Chiba Krisis, like for example, we have in the, 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 the Gemara and Shuiz of Lama Gimel of Aleph, let's say someone lit uh, someone's silo on Yom Kippur, so he's Gimichai. And 
the Mishnah over here, for example, that says that you're going to get a knas by a chaisai, where, what's the question? The Gemara's question is that although that they don't have nothing that comes to the Gemara, us and take exempt because of karas, but you should be part of because of the law, whether there was a warning, whether there wasn't a warning, because there's no karas without a law, except for Pesach Amila, where those are the only events that I say that have get of karas, because we understand according to Yerich and he'll explain it even according to Rabbana that disagree with Jeremiah because they say in like a Mishal. But here with these, there, there is no warning and there's a Chiv But according to Shlakash, who are you going to explain it like? So Bigma says, Eir Meir, if you want, you can say it's like Meir that says, like a Mishal. But Eir Pitzchel, you can say it's like Pitzchel, who he says that's not a Shaykh, Malkis, Bechiv, a crisis. And he doesn't hold the Gizayah Shabbat Asan Asan. So what are you going to, what are you going to, what are you going to let him off the hook from? So the uh, mission over here is obviously like Rameya says Rashi, not like Yitzchok, because you have the difficulty of Mamzeret, where we said that you like a Mishal. But over there in Shavuiz, where you have a Chiba Kriz that you pay, that could be like Rameya or Yitzchok. But our mission over here would obviously be like Rameya. Again, there's a, a lot of cheshmen regarding all these different opinions, how to say who is the Tana of a Mishnah, who is the Tana that disagrees with the Chudim HaKonah. Now, going back to the topic of our Mishnah, which was talking about who are these Nairis, Shishl and Kanas, Tana Barun Nabraisa. Arayas v'shniyas l'arayas, which you're going to explain shortly what, what those are. But these categories in the hem, they don't have loik nas, they don't have the penalty of, let's say, the case of oinis, and with pitui, they don't have the monetary payment of mefuta if she was seduced. That's regarding arayas and shniyas l'arayas. Hamem enes, which is, if the way Rashi explains it, Tyson disagrees, if, if she refused her husband, for example, a minor orphan that was married off by her mother and she does a refusal in her husband, she doesn't get not the knas, not pitri, Rashi says because she's not becheskes besula, she's not presumed to be as besula because she was married. So if she was subsequently violated, she's not going to get a knas or the monetary payment of pitri. Islandess, which is a, a woman that does not have any simoni nairis, any signs of puberty forever, and she can't give birth, which the word islandness is from the, like an isle zacher, which is like a, a, a male that doesn't give birth. So in the look, knas like Peter. She doesn't get knas or Peter because knas was only given to a naira. And this girl who never brings pubic hairs because uh, that so all the 20 years till she's 20, she's presumed to be as a katana. And if she has some money that she's an islandess, so she goes straight to being a baguette. So she never really has the stage of puberty. She goes from being a child to being an adult. So, so it wouldn't apply the halacha of, of knas. And if she's, if she's removed because of a bad name, which the Gemara assumes what that means to say is, the classic case, of, the biblical case of Mike Shemra, which is that her husband didn't find by her any besulim, so she doesn't get not knas and pita. And the Gemara's going to ask later on, what do you mean that she gets stoned? Because of the fact that she was uh, uh, she was mezana, that's the classic case of Mike Shemra. If it turns out what the husband's saying is true, so what he's saying that she doesn't get knas or pitui. So that, that's the brace about adding on that, that uh, contrasting regarding the halachas of our Mishnah that say that these women get knas, the, the ones in the brace that don't get knas. <laughs> so the Gemara says, my arayis, my shnei arayis. What's the case of arayis or the secondary arayis? Elam, if you think it's like the simple translation of Arayis, means that it's in the Bolam, Avon Manal, Arayis, Mamish, if those that are explained in the Parsha Achri Mois, which are those that have Chib of Karaz, and Shniz, the secondaries are Medivir Sefim, other rabbinic ones, which are Chamo Gezer on the secondary Arayis to distance people from sin. For example, let's say not his mother, but his mother's mother, or his father's mother, or some other Arayis that I mentioned in the second pregnancy from the Chav of Manal. The problem is, is even since the Shniz, the Medivir Sefim, Biblically, you would say it's below see Elisha. You would say that this woman that he violated is fit for him to be a wife because only rabbinically forbidden. So why don't they have a kanas? Meaning, I understand by rise you could say like Shemna Timni who disagrees in the Mishnah. And he holds that, it doesn't hold of Naira, Naira, Hanaira, which includes Chiv, increases the kanas. So I can understand to say, okay, so it's not applicable for below see Elisha, and therefore, that's why you wouldn't get a knas. But the problem is, but the shni is, the secondary rais, is obviously biblically uh, permitted. So why would these women not get knas? El Rebbe says the Gemara, so you're right, it means something else. A rais is chivim is bezdin. 
when we say arayis are going to be part, it means those that would be like bitoy, would be uh, executed in court. And shniyas, although generally it means chiba the rabban, in this case the secondary means chiba kriest. Al chiba laven, but it's regarding negative prohibition that this woman to have a relationship with yeshlim kenas, then she would have a kenas if he's ma'anasa. Umani, and therefore who is the tana of this brisa? Shemna timnehi, who in the beginning of the parak he said that volosi leisha means it has to be a woman sheish b'havayim, that as long as kedushin could be typhus, then it's applicable to have kenas. So chiba laven kedushin could be typhus. It's not it's not chiba misa or chiba chiba krisis because those would be exempt. But chiba laven would be would be would be chayv for kenas. Let's say a slightly different version. Arayis means chiba misa bezin v'chiba krisis. And those are exempt from Kanas. And Shniyas, again, doesn't mean Chiba uh, Dirabana, it means Chiba Laban, those which are negative prohibition that they also don't have Kanas. And Mani, who is the town of the Brahmin, it's Rabbi Shemim Ben Asihi, who he says, Velesi Leisha means to say, not an Isha that has Havaya, but an Isha rule of a woman that's fit to stay married to, which even a Chiba Laban, even though the Kedushan type is not fit to be married, that's whom the Brahmin means, Arayas and, and, and Shniyas Larayas, that regarding that they're not going to have Kanas. Thank you, Anita. Awesome. Love it, hey.